guys, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana here, and today I wanted to talk about the law of attraction. Um, and I still can't believe that there is quite a lot of people that don't know about this. Um, so for those who don't, it's a it's like a philosophy on thought, um, or thought philosophy, should I say? And it looks into positive and negative thoughts and how that affects your experiences. It sort of goes into things like, wait for that time to pass, so it goes into things like, you know, like attracting like, should I say, and you know, when you're thinking positively then generally positive things happen um, and this sort of grew out of love. I think it was about the 19th century that this uh, thought philosophy uh, came out and and it's been um, more popularized, popularized I don't know if that's a word anyway in um, in more recent years so for me pos uh, positivity I guess has um, been sort of pushed throughout you know childhood and many people would experience this I'm sure you're told to think positively and and don't be so sad and, and things like that and I think I even had vision boards when I was um, growing up and didn't even realize that that's what they were and then when I was about 18 I was um, flatting with a friend and they mentioned this documentary called The Secret so I watched it and I was literally astounded by it and frustrated in the fact that it wasn't something that um, many people knew of or cared about and I even tried um, telling it, sorry, telling it, tried to explain it to other people that I thought should benefit from it. and. Um, there's lots of books and audio books as well on, on this um, philosophy and there are people who you know who would probably follow certain steps and processes um, so you can kind of go quite in depth with it uh, however me personally I, and I'm sure many of you would be the same you, if you want to keep it simple it can be as easy as just writing down your goals or uh, things that you want to to happen, experiences you want to um, experience and um, just having them written down somewhere or even you know a vision board, some people do do the vision boards um, especially if you're a, more a, a, a visual person um, but just as, any of those sort of things can really help um, And if, if I was to look back on on things uh, that that have that have happened or experiences that I have experienced in life, I can actually probably think back to a time where I wanted them to happen, and it really amazes me at how much um, things that I have thought about you know um, previously and, and sort of um, manifested on those things and thought of, um, and I guess you could say thought about them a lot or, um, you could, or I called them goals and it's re it just really amazes me on, on how many of those things have I've actually gotten to experience I personally uh, feel that pretty much most of the things that I've experienced in my life have been because I've either wanted them to happen, um, you know, consciously or subconsciously. And of course, there's always going to be things that happen in life that you can't control. However, a lot of it is actually controlled by you. And really, if, if you don't have a goal, then you're going to live a pretty goalless life. 
I don't know if that's a word, but hey, I just made it up. <laughs> um, so, so please create them and start changing your perception on, on your life, especially if you find yourself overwhelmed in negative thoughts. And also let me know if any of you have experienced anything like this or uh, would like to know more about this if you aren't already aware of it. And let's leave those sort of things in the comments and below, down below. And I hope you've done something that makes you happy today. See ya.